Hello YouTube and welcome. In this video we're gonna review these aftermarket dually fenders that you basically buy and slap on a regular bed. Bought these for like $200 each online from, I'm gonna put it right down here in the video. I think it's Wallace. And that's the practically only one I found online. And uh, so I'm gonna go through what I like about it and not, and uh, how to install it. So let's start first by uh, the way it came, what color it came. Um, these fenders came in a primered and um, so um, all I have to do is just paint it with a base coat so now I just I hit it with another primer that match the rest of the truck so this is my project so you gotta have to have somebody help you hold it in place and now how does this thing mount all right I think I I don't really need light because there is a lot of light in here. So you can see here, there are like some screws that way. Um, there's plenty of them. There's one, two, three, and then four, five. There's five on top. The, the only bad parts are the ones in the corner, especially behind uh, the fuel door. Um, so what did I do? I'm going to show you right in in a minute in this vi uh, in a picture I had to use an impact but I had to mount a uh, angle on it uh, 90 degrees angle redirect it so with that point let me grab an impact so as you can see while you're trying to mount this to the body uh, to the, uh, of the bed of the regular single wheel bed um, this impact will never fit I mean if you go I got an extension there I can take it off but I mean there's no room even if you take off the extension all right let me take it off so I got this little uh, 12 volt Bosch and actually it's tight for it matter of fact this like this is as much as I have I mean there's not even like a half of an inch there so so I had to put it put it like that with an angle on it that redirect it to that position and it's a pain in the ass while you do that you need to have somebody help you holding it in place so so once you determine where you want to put it so you can put marks and you have somebody hold it in place while you go under and put these screws self tappers that's the best thing I could find so those are the ones on top it goes on top this little chip here came like that from shipping so it's fine I figured I can fix it it's not a lot of work um, the only uh, two mounting point that they never had a problem with are the ones here on the bottom you get that one there you can insert a screw I mean a bolt and a nut and one on the other side too same thing I really wish I uh, had a camera on me while I was doing this I did this in a rush and it actually it makes you think it's just a quick Thing, but it's not there's a lot of other things and go, going on so you use a little bit of light there so um fitting wise here it's not really bad I mean see the gap there it's not the product's fault it's actually my body here is, is bent bottom and me instead of fixing it, but 
it's a work truck it's nonsense for that have it to tow some a trailer so so yeah um, I would start with one on the top in the center and then put a point where you want to drill there you can drill that one from uh, this side outside so you gotta take it down again and then once you put a point there with a the marker you know where you want to be so for the inside uh, this like because it's a regular bed and usually I just I just got my my adapter dually adapter um, so what I did is I paint this black and actually it's really good it's a really good thing like from a good distance you won't note from a distance when you drive it around nobody really gonna note none of issues so this fender is not a big deal because it doesn't have the fuel door let's go talk about the fuel doors so with the fuel doors uh, these fenders were sold without the doors so this one I didn't put it yet in for it yet but as you can see I, I'm still a little bit off I'm still a little bit off there and here and the reason why is um, the door on this side it needed to be like taken a little bit out of the surface because it was so tight so I had to put it on like this by chance this one worked obviously fine it needs a little bit of um, adjustments so when you take it off from the from the old one you just have to go from the back reach inside from the back and take two bolts I forget the size exactly but take them too so before even having the fenders installed on the truck do first the fuel doors these are these are very very easy to work on while they're not installed uh, why this thing is not installed on the truck so you'll have a lot of room from the back to mark it here where you want to put the holes so you got to drill it here two holes here so you can slam that thing in and then there is a little bit of adjustments on it you're gonna get it tighter looser you're gonna keep putting the adjustment the key in installing this door is making sure that the distance in and out is perfectly right so you got a choice of having an oblong hole or just a one hole it will take you a lot of time I would rather have an oblong hole and some adjustments as you can see as you can see there there's a line there a marker if you can see it it's still the center I centered put a center from here to here and then centered matched with the center of this piece and then the outer issue was the in and out as you can see this one I need to adjust it a little bit more put the this end a little bit toward the outside but I'll leave it for now like it let it be until I get the hose now when it comes to the hoses this side I didn't do yet but this side is done so I had to cut through my uh, regular single wheel uh, bed so and I did cut a hole to run the hose and I went to um, the uh, hose place they didn't have it but I got that um, three inch hose from um, hey, yeah, from a place that sell uh, marine part and it's it's there I actually took it out of there and ran it all the way out and that's the opening that I have so the only thing is with this is a pain in the ass mounting a um, uh, mud flop so there are a lot of solutions we'll uh, probably talk about them in 
do them in a separate video. So that's what's all concerning the fuel doors and installing this. Number one thing you have you need to have somebody help you put it on place and put your markings and then you can you can start with a center one there mark the bottom two at the bot the bottom two holes that match your uh, fenders they are there get a marker or even like a pick because it's tight in there and so and then take it off again it's gonna be pain in the ass but the more you have help somebody hold it in place you'll be okay using the angle bit in there 90 degrees angle bit oops dropped my extension so so as you can see I got a little bit of something there like a you can guess what it is it's a material it looks like an adhesive between the fender and the body actually just a, that's a regular caulk it's used to windows exterior caulk and it does work as a good adhesive but I didn't need any any adhesive I needed something to kind of settle the vibration when you drive you don't want this to vibrate and you don't want the screws to come off slowly as you can see I don't have any of them off I had this thing on for like a year and a half and it's all good um, and just make sure you don't have them coming out from the outside you really don't want to see that now from them from my side here you can see a little bit you know so it will save you a lot of time especially if you have already took off the bed not too long ago put new bolts and went through your fuel tanks you don't want to keep doing that you'd buy each one of these is 220 bucks slam them on and you're good to go so there is something that I did not pay attention to when I was working on this dually conversion uh, fenders uh, the distance between like where are you gonna put this like if you're gonna put it you're gonna have a center and you want to center it with a wheel if you do that you're gonna be a little bit off so that's what I did I centered it centered with the center of the wheel turns out the back between the light I got out of place this tail light uh, that's out of our other truck this is my work truck I just put whatever on it so the distance here I do not know but what I would do if I was you I would go to a stock truck dually and then measure between the tail light and where the fender starts and then put a mark that's where you want to go because if you follow these the distance between here and here and here and here you can see I trying to keep the same distance I kind of screwed up a little bit I could have gone a little bit forward but it didn't look bad at all uh, what I was doing I was kind of on lining it up this by the uh, um, body it's actually lined up but the thing is I think I could go a little bit like an inch a whole inch ahead because I didn't take the measurement here and I should have done that it's not a big deal also I could have done because I have the trim I could have done the trim thing before but like I said this is a work truck so I hope this video was really handy and gives you like an insight on these I'll put the link of these fenders and where you get them uh, down below the video please subscribe hit like I'm gonna do a lot of work to this truck I'm gonna paint it I'm gonna convert it's a two-wheel drive I'm gonna put a, a solid front Dana uh, 60 axle um, convert it to 4x4 four four. Um, yeah uh, thank you very much for watching uh, hit like please and subscribe